so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Trick or treat! <laughs> Hello, it's me, Puppy! <laughs> hey, and I'm Mika! And today we're at Logan's Candies in Ontario, California. Yeah, <laughs> and it's Halloween time, which means you can dress up in any costume that you want. Mm -hmm. And you can go around saying, trick or treat. Yeah, <laughs> and then you get treats. Oh, I love treats and candy. Ooh, Me trick too. or treat. Oh, I don't have any treats for you. Hmm. Me neither. Oh, well, good thing we're in a candy store. <laughs> Let's go explore. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Mika. Hey, did you find some Halloween candy? Yeah, there's so much candy here, but mm -hmm. I don't even know what to choose. Yeah, there's so many choices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and look, there's some more candy here. Some more candy? What's Ooh. that? Raspberry gummy puffs. Ooh, those look mm -hmm. yummy and really <laughs> chewy. Ooh, check out the candy corn. Oh, look at it. Yeah, candy corn is really cool because, ooh, has orange, one of my two favorite colors. Yeah, and yellow, one of my favorite colors. Whoa, that looks like a good treat. Ooh, and gummy worms. Oh, that's really funny. You don't want to eat real worms, but these are candy gummy worms. Yum. Yummy. <laughs> Whoa, and marshmallows. They're ghost, ghost marshmallows. Oh, I love candy so much. Mm -hmm. And lucky for us, we just had a really nice, big, healthy meal so we can have some candy. Mm -hmm. I love candy. Ooh, but candy has a lot of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> that makes it a sometimes treat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and if you eat a meal of yummy food, even if it's healthy, or if you're eating candy, always remember to brush your teeth. And floss. That's right. Keep them nice and clean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hi, guys. Welcome to Logan's. How oh, can I help you? Hi. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? What's your name? I'm Jerry. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Jerry. I'm Blippi. Hey, hi, nice to meet you, and Blippi. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. What, can I get some candy for you? What can we get? Yeah, well, I think it'd be really cool if I got to pick out a treat for my best friend, Blippi, for Halloween. Uh, well, I wanted to pick out some yummy candy for Mika, my best friend. But Aww. there's so much candy here. I don't know what to pick. Yeah. How about if we make something special for both of you guys? We can make candy here? We make, make our own candy? Absolutely, right here, absolutely. Oh, yeah, let's go make awesome. some candy together. How okay, about that be? Let's do it. Let's yeah. go. Awesome. because she's such a good friend. <laughs> yeah, Mika loves candy canes, so I'm gonna make a Halloween candy cane. <laughs> yeah, and instead of this candy cane being the colors white and red, we're gonna make it Halloween colors, orange and black. Whoa, Ooh. and instead of making a peppermint candy cane, hmm, let's pick a different flavor. <laughs> Ooh. I think Jerry was starting to make some. Yeah, I saw him earlier take some sugar and water and put it in a really big bowl, start mixing it up. <laughs> but I wonder how mixing up some sugar and water turns into a candy cane. <laughs> Let's go ask him, come on. <laughs> Whoa, thanks for having me. And Jerry, what are you making right now? Well, we're making candy canes. We're gonna do Halloween candy canes. We're gonna make candy canes that are orange and black. This is sugar, water, and corn syrup. We just added some color to it. We're oh. making our orange here. Aren't candy canes normally hard? Well, they're hard. Because of the temperature we cook the candy, once it sets up cold, then it'll be a hard candy. But you can see it's very, very warm at this yeah. point still. So very, very warm. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's really soft right now because it's so warm. Yes, exactly. So I'm gonna stack this up here just a little bit. Whoa. So this will be the white part. We're gonna add some flavor to that here in just a minute. So we're making orange creamsicle flavor here. So we're gonna oh. add a couple flavors. Oh, 
Jerry made a hole in the center, put in the flavor, and now we're gonna cover it up. Cover it up! <laughs> Whoa! So we're gonna mix this in for a minute or so here. I'm starting to smell it. Mm, smell that orange? Right. <laughs> yeah, it smells like orange. Just like your orange glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of my two favorite colors. Orange. <laughs> oh, and blue. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> now we're going to take it over the hook here in just a minute. We'll show you how we're going to turn it nice and white. Okay. There we go. Oh, look at it go. Yeah. Stretching out the sugar on the hook. Oh, look. hey, look. It's starting to change colors. Yeah. It was kind of a dark yellowy orange color, and now it's getting lighter and lighter till it turns white. Could I try tossing the candy cane? Absolutely. We're gonna have you come over here to my right, and I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit. Now it is a little bit warm, so you wanna just okay. lift it up. You're gonna pull it out, lift it up, and throw it on the hook. Okay. Kind of lift it with my left hand. There we go. Let's get to try that there. It's also really heavy because this is a lot of candy cane. <laughs> That's about 17 Whoa. pounds right there you're pulling on the hook. <laughs> yeah, this is too much sugar for one candy cane. That would be a giant candy cane. Uh oh! Okay, uh -oh. <laughs> I have candy cane on my fingers. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's why we leave the candy making to the professionals. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I think I need a little more practice. Terry's gonna bring the candy cane mix over here. Yeah. I think we're gonna mix the colors with the tasty orange flavored candy cane sugar. Yeah, that's the white part. So here's that big white block. Remember we were pulling out here. Mm -hmm. Let me change my gloves real quick. Oh. And I'm gonna have you actually make this into a big square block if you can. Can you okay. do that? Yeah. This one right here? Yeah, right here. I have this here. Let me show you. I'm just gonna pick it up. I'm gonna let it fall on that side and pick it up. Let it fall on that side. Okay. Just keep doing that over and over again. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, you wanna make it into a square shape. Yeah, it'll now actually be like a cube. Mm -hmm. Now, so now we're gonna add our color to it. Just keep it just like that. We're gonna put our Ooh. black stripe on this side of it. Ooh. And black and orange are what colors for what, what holiday? Whoa, I know, Halloween. That's right, that's Whoa. right. <laughs> so now we'll take our orange stripe. We're gonna put that on the other side of the block here, just like that. Wow. Now we're gonna stretch this out here. Hmm. So black stripe on that side. Whoa. Orange stripe on that side. Anybody out there bowl, any bowlers? Maybe you can take that to the bowling lanes. What do you think? Yeah, it looks like a bowling pin. How about this? What other sport would this be? Maybe a little baseball bat? Whoa! <laughs> Home run! <laughs> now we'll take it on the table here. We're going to stretch it out. Is this a heater? This is a heater, yeah. This is to Whoa. keep it nice and warm. Remember, we want to keep it around 165, 175 degrees. And that's what that does for us. So we're going to stretch it out here. Check it out. Well, we have these right here, but mm, they still don't quite look like candy canes. The Abby's gonna step in here and show us how to do that. So, Hi, okay? Abby. <laughs> Whoa. Roll them. Whoa. Oh, hey. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Can I pick one up? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Abby was rolling them out and then shaped them just like a candy cane. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. These are certainly some scary Halloween candy canes. Whoa! <laughs> Those are pretty cool. Oh, can I try shaping one? Yes. So you roll it. Yep. Roll, roll it. it. Nice Ooh. and soft. Nice and soft. It's still warm. Then take it out and roll. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> thank you. We just want to thank you for coming down today and helping us make some candy. You did such a great job. <laughs> oh, well, you are a really good teacher. Yeah, look. We made candy canes, candy hoops, <laughs> Ooh, a candy heart, a candy curly Q, <laughs> and candy pillows. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Mika is going to love these. <laughs> you know, I think she's making something special for you. So I'm going to head back that way and see what she's making for you. Oh, OK. I wonder what she's making. Okay, 
I have my hands washed nice and clean and I'm wearing an apron. I'm ready to make some treats. Well, welcome to the back room at Logan's. This is where we make our candy. We made some marshmallow today. We're gonna cut out some special shapes for Blippi for a little bit later. Wow, what is marshmallow exactly? I know I love it. It's super sweet, but how do you make it? It's, it's so good. It's a mixture of sugar, water, and corn syrup. We cook it in a kettle up to about 200 degrees or more. We then add it with some other things. We put it in our mixing, we whip it up. We whip this white fluff you see here. We spread it on the table. Now we're ready to cut out some shapes so Whoa. we can dip it in chocolate. Kind of like when you use cookie dough and you roll it out flat and you can use cookie cutters. I didn't know you could do that with marshmallow. Yes, yeah, same thing. We're gonna do cut it out with some shapes. And of course, being it's Halloween, we're gonna use a pumpkin <gasps> shape, so. Oh yeah, check it out. And it's an orange pumpkin, one of Lippy's favorite colors. <laughs> Okay, press down, and check it out. A pumpkin marshmallow. So what do you like about making candy? Well, you know, of course, the most fun thing would be eating the candy. That oh, is definitely yeah. the best. But you know, making it, letting people watch us make it and helping us make it, that's always fun too. So I do love making candy. Oh, that's awesome. And I bet it feels really good to give candy to others for special treats or gifts. And oh, who doesn't love candy, right? I know, I think pretty much everyone. <laughs> do you have any other kind of cookie cutter other than a oh, pumpkin? Let's have a special one. Maybe we can cut Blippi on <gasps> one of these. Oh, look, it's a red heart. This is perfect because Blippi is my best friend. Aw, okay, let's do a heart marshmallow. Blippi's going to love this, and now I get to dip it in chocolate. <laughs> oh, check it out, we're in a chocolate room. What's your name? I'm Susie, I'm Jerry the Candyman's wife. Oh, hi Susie, I'm hi. Mika. Hi Mika. So Jerry helped me make marshmallow pumpkins for my best friend Blippi, and now I wanna coat them in some chocolate. Yeah, that's my job. Oh, can you show us how you do it? Yes, I just pick the candy up, uh -huh. the marshmallow up, and just <gasps> gently <gasps> smush it around in all the really creamy chocolate. Oh. Make sure both sides are coated evenly. <gasps> Look at all of that chocolate. Let a little excess drip off. Oh. Give it a nice scrape and then slide it onto the tray. Whoa, that's a lot of chocolate on that pumpkin marshmallow. Maybe you could help decorate them. Oh, I would love to decorate. Oh, I see some little candy pieces that I could use. Ooh, are you gonna do another one? Yes. All right, so I'll make two pumpkins for Blippi. Have some. Jelly beans here, and they're orange, one of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> and they have some candy corn. You see a lot of candy corn around Halloween time. <laughs> Yum. Okay, let's see. Oh, I really like that face. I think I'm gonna copy it. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern. Hello, happy Halloween. <laughs> oh, I have an idea for this one. I'll use orange jelly beans and do a border all around the pumpkin. I think Flippy will really like this for Halloween. Oh, they look so good. Thanks so much for your help. You're very welcome, my pleasure. Well, let's go see what Blippi's up to. Come on! Yay! <laughs> that was such a fun day! <laughs> Mika, did you make some candy? Oh yeah, I did. Ooh. Did you make candy? <laughs> yeah, special candy just for you. Oh. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Hi guys, thank you for making candy with us. It was a great day. Just want to pass your candy on to you. There you oh, go. Oh, thank you thank so, you so much. much. And thanks for being a great teacher. We learned how to make really yummy treats. Mm -hmm. Happy uh, Halloween. Happy Halloween, you guys. Thank you so All much, right. guys. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Ooh, Mika, this is the candy I made for you. Oh, and Blippi, here's the candy I made for you. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Oh. Whoa. Candy cane. I've never seen a Halloween candy cane before. I love the orange in it. It's so cool. And it's orange flavored. Whoa, I love orange. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, a heart. <laughs> yeah, because oh, you're my best friend. <laughs> Thanks, Flippy. Oh, and me. 
Pico, whoa! Check it out, it's a jack-o'-lantern! A chocolate jack-o'-lantern? Yep. It's a little squishy, though. Uh-huh. Is it marshmallow? Yep. <gasps> These look so yummy! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mika! You're welcome, and I have a little surprise for you right here oh. in my bag. For me? I also made you a heart. Oh, Mika, I love it! <laughs> Whoa! Marshmallow chocolate heart! Yeah, Yum! I hope it's super tasty! <laughs> Thanks for being such a good friend! <laughs> Thank you for being a good friend! <laughs> well, today was so fun! Yeah, it was really cool learning how to make a candy cane. You took sugar, put it in a kettle, mix it up, and then you have to pull and pull Whoa. and pull and then twist and then you make candy canes! <laughs> wow, it sounds like a lot of hard work! Mm -hmm. It was really heavy! Oh. Hmm. Well, I learned how to make marshmallow, oh. and I got to use pumpkin cookie cutters and a heart cookie cutter to cut out those shapes out of marshmallow, kind of like cookie dough. Hmm. But marshmallows? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. Yep, and then we coated them in chocolate, and I got to decorate them with candy. It was so much fun. <laughs> Whoa, I love decorating. Me too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey. You spell my name with us? <laughs> okay, here we go. B L I P P I. Filippi. Good job. Good nice. <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. All right, happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Woo! <laughs>。and today I'm at the Happy Ice in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited because we get to learn all about water ice. Have you ever heard of water ice before? <laughs> It's smooth and creamy like ice cream, but refreshing like shaved ice. And I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika. So nice to meet you. Hey, Mika, I'm Lemire. <laughs> do you make Happy Ice? Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh, man. You need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow. And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, We're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten watermelon seeds. <laughs> And did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. <laughs> oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. <gasps> Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors. Yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? Yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. Strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Oh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I have to sing it twice. <laughs> And look, another rainbow. 
Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Hey, Lumiere. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making today. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. <laughs> oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh, perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple is your favorite color? Yes, one well, of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently <laughs> that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I'd like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay? You want to do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. Pour the whole thing inside. All right. Alrighty. I'll take that one. You can now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine. Pour that one, one inside of there. Mm-hmm. Mm, it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. It tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay. Here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yep. And we got one more. One more to go. You actually make two flavors. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow! Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow! Check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm gonna start off by just hitting this button. And this one, and now it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna stir up the top a little bit, get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a head man? Yeah, All right. looks great. I'm gonna let it out, I'm gonna demonstrate on this one, and you're gonna do that one, okay? Okay. All right, so you wanna bring it to the center, you have to lift it up, and then the product comes out. And we wanna stir it while it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. And once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're gonna stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You wanna start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And you go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. 
Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so it's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay, all right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> so now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> That was so much fun. <laughs> happy ice, happy ice, sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, hey, babe. Yeah. You're welcome, enjoy. <laughs> Great! Another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! See you later, friends! Hi! It's me, Mika! And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here, you can adopt a dog or a cat, and then they can be part of your family! Oh, there's a dog right there! Oh, hi, I'm Mika! Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you! Nice to meet you, too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow! Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can okay. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout! What a cute name! Hi, Sprout! I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? <laughs> Aw. Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Aw. Whoa, cool squeaky toy! It's a pink snake! <laughs> So once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Aww, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food bowls, uh, litter box, litter, um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? 
This is an American Bully mix. American Bully mix? Whoa! This is a bigger dog. Aww! And she's so loving. What's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady! Aww! So, so sweet. What's this? A blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Louise is ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat? Catio? It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two. Two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. I see some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh. This cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. 
Thanks for finding Cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out. I'm in a cat room. This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> Hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh. Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun, getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the El Sereno Community Garden in Los Angeles, California. Here, people come together from the community to practice gardening together. <laughs> oh, I bought some food scraps from home to compost. Have you ever composted before? <laughs> That's sort of like when you recycle to protect our earth. Mm-hmm. And the best part, we get to go digging in the dirt. Ready? Come on, let's go! Whoa! Look at these colorful signs. Oh, they're greetings in different languages, welcoming us to the garden. Aw, oh, thank you, signs. It's a pleasure to be here. Wow, 
Check out all these plants. <laughs> there are too many to even count. And look, they're all in the dirt. That's where they get their nutrients, from the soil. Do you know what other nutrients plants need to grow? <gasps> That's right, sunlight and <sighs> fresh air and lots of water. You can water them yourself, or sometimes when it rains, they get plenty of water so you don't have to. <laughs> oh, plants need lots of space to grow too. <gasps> oh, this garden looks very spacious, which means there's plenty of space for plants to grow. <laughs> okay, friends, let's keep exploring. I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi Mika, I'm Erica. Welcome to the El Sereno Community Garden in Otsunga, the place of the roses. Nice. In the Tongva language, can you say Otsunga? Otsunga. Nice. <laughs> uh, are you here to compost? Yes, I am. Perfect. I have my eggshells and my avocado and my banana peels. Excellent. <laughs> uh, let me show you Great. Uh, what to do. And on the LA compost method of uh, composting, there's three boxes. You uh -huh. add uh, your food scraps here, and then you put a layer of browns, uh, which is dry leaves or mulch, mm -hmm. on top of your kitchen scraps, okay. which are your greens, mm -hmm. even though the banana is not green. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, those but, are yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and so you put greens and browns, greens and browns, and you make sure the brown layer stays on top. Mm -hmm. And then once it gets filled, you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and add water, and then you move it to the next one, and then you shift it and you add, add water, water. <laughs> and then at the end, it looks like this. Whoa, check it out. So the compost pile, when it's ready to sift, mm -hmm. you look, if you look inside, there's bugs and worms and oh. roly polies oh, yes. and everywhere. What do the bugs do? They decompose the soil, the matter, the brown matter, oh. and make it into fertile soil. Mm, decomposing means you break something down. So once it's finished breaking down, uh -huh. we take a handful and we bring it to the sifter. And then as a sifter, you take out the big brown things that don't fill through the holes. Mm -hmm. And then you keep the worms. If you find any worms, uh -huh. you uh, put them back. Oh, put them back. Hello, Because worms. they're our friends. <laughs> and then we put them back in the soil so they can continue making soil. And the, the one that's sifted that goes through is ready to plant to plant new plants. Oh, awesome. I'm gonna go plant on the other side of the garden. You wanna join me later when you finish composting? Sure. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, here I go. Our earth is a wonderful host. I love to help her through compost. We'll compost this and we'll compost that with some food and plant scraps. Whoa, awesome. Okay, let's head over to this big pile of dirt. Scoop up some dirt and maybe some worms too. Okay, three, two, one, sift off. Sift, sift, sift. Oh, check out these worms. Did you know earthworms have taste buds all over their bodies? <laughs> Okay. Wow. Let's go find Erica to see if she needs help planting. <gasps> I've got it. Let's wiggle over like a worm. Ready, worms? Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, squish, squish. Hi, Erica. Hi, Mika. <laughs> what are you planting? I'm planting some hummingbird sage, some narrow leaf milkweed, and some lettuce. Oh, I'd like to help. Yes. Did you bring the compost? Oh, yes. It's right here. Perfect. You're going to need it. <laughs> so you make a hole, but the size of the roots and the size of your fist, you take the plant out of the pot and be careful with the roots. Look at that. Oh, look at all those roots. And you plant them nice and gentle in the hole, and then you give a nice warm hug with the compost. There we go, little plant. 
These are for the pollinators. <gasps> oh, I know what that is. That's when certain animals fly from plant to plant. The pollen gets on their body, then they fly to the other plant, and it helps the plants grow. Do you know what kind of animals are pollinators? That's right. Buzz, buzz, buzz. <laughs> Bees and hummingbirds and butterflies and bats too. That's right. And you want to know what else is a pollinator? I'll give you a hint. They're red and black. Can you guess what a pollinator is? Ladybug? That's right, look, there's one right here. Oh, look at that ladybug. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> Did you know ladybugs are male as well? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Despite the name, they're male and female. In you go. Thank you. How about here? Now that I'm done planting, I'd like to try something else. Oh, can we harvest? Yes, you can. You can harvest whatever is ready and ripe. Ready and ripe, got it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, I have a plan. Let's gather up some fruits and vegetables for a salad. Oh, these would be great. Check it out. These are Filipino limes. They're ready when they're yellow instead of green. <laughs> okay, lime, let's go. Here we go. We have two limes. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Wow, look at this tree. Wonder what it is. Oh, I know. It's guava. <laughs> you can tell a fruit is ripe if it falls to the ground. That means we're ready. <laughs> Get some guava for our salad. Mmm, that smells good. Okay, let's find some more food for our salad. Yum! Cocoa plum. Let's pick one for our salad. <laughs> Look! It's so little. And it's one of my favorite colors, purple. <laughs> Check it out over here. Oh, I see another fruit. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's a watermelon. Wow, I've never seen one this small before. This will be delicious in my salad. Ooh, an orange tree. But these oranges aren't quite ready. You know how I know? <laughs> yeah, they're still green. Not ripe yet. Okay, oranges, I'll see you later when you're ready. <gasps> Look! <laughs> a really big cactus. This can go into a salad, but no thank you, cacti. I think I'll move on. Yummy! Strawberries! Should we put strawberries in our salad? <laughs> yeah! One strawberry, two strawberries. Hmm. Oh, check it out! Kale! I would like some of this for my salad, too. <laughs> I know. Let's make a salad for Erica to thank her for showing us this lovely garden. Here we go. Hello, Erica. Hi, Mika. We made you a delicious salad. Yummy, what's in it? We have watermelon and guava and strawberry and kale. Yummy, I'm gonna <laughs> have it for lunch. <laughs> Mika, can you help me with one more thing? Yes, I'm happy to help. I need to spread seeds out uh, so we can uh, Harvest some flowers. This is Arroyo Lupine. It's beautiful purple bloom. Mm. Oh, that's one of my favorite colors. Now, when we spread the seeds, we have to sing to them, twinkle, twinkle, little star, because we believe the seeds are the stars of the earth. Oh. Can you help me? Yes. Perfect. Roll out your hand. I'm gonna give you some seeds. Thank you. And we'll get seeds and we'll start singing and wishing them love. You ready? Yes. 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yes, you're Come so back welcome. anytime. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. That was awesome. We did a great job composting with those worms, planting in a garden, and harvesting some yummy fruit and vegetables for a salad. What a great, beautiful day. I hope you had fun too. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, friend, see you later. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. And I'm so excited because guess what's inside? Trampolines. Have you ever been on a trampoline before? They're so fun, you can jump and bounce really, really high. Have you ever wondered what makes something bounce? <laughs> Me too. Let's go inside and find out. Come on. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm Mika. I'm Quincy, it's nice to meet you, Mika. Hey Quincy, nice to meet you too. Ah, so, what can I do for you today, Mika? Well, I really want to play on some things that are bouncy, and I hear there are a lot of trampolines here. Oh, we have so many trampolines here today. Nice. But first, we have to pick from an assortment of wristbands. Whoa, look at all of these colors. I see orange, green, yellow, red, blue, and pink. Hmm, I think I'm gonna choose the yellow one. It's mm -hmm. one of my favorite colors. I got you right here, Mika. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what else do I need? And next you get to pick between these two socks right here. Whoa, check out these socks. They have grips on the bottom. Why are there grips on these socks? There's grips on the socks just to prevent you from slipping on the bouncy trampolines. Oh, good idea. Oh, and there's also blue and black and pink socks. I think I'm gonna go with the orange. These are super cool. So I have my wristband and my socks, and I know that there are trampolines here, but is there anything else that you have that's really bouncy? It's funny that you ask. I got a whole picture of bouncy balls right here. Whoa! There's so many. This will be the perfect way to experiment with why and how things bounce. Yes. Thanks, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> it's so much fun to bounce. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Have you ever bounced on a trampoline before? It's so fun. And check this out. You push down on a trampoline like this. See how it goes down? But if you don't do anything, it goes back to being flat. That's called elasticity. <laughs> and that's what makes it so fun to bounce on a trampoline. <laughs> wow, let's check out all of these different kinds of balls and see how they bounce. All right, let's see, we have a squishy orange ball here. Whoa! And look at this one. It's orange too, but it's smaller. Kind of looks like a ball pit ball. Oh, it's nice and light. I wonder how this one bounces. Oh, see ya! <laughs> Ooh, I love these. They're bouncy balls. <laughs> this is a nice green. Okay, ready? Oh, yeah, let me try again. <laughs> Here's another bouncy ball. Whoa! Nice job, bouncy ball! <laughs> Let's see what happens if we bounce the balls and I bounce at the same time! Woo! <laughs> hey! This woo, seems like a really fun space to play a game where you can bounce and 
throw these balls. Huh. If only I had some friends to play a game with. <laughs> oh, hey! Do you want to play a game with me? I would love to, Mika. Oh, awesome! But I got a friend with me as well. Oh, hey! This is Priscilla. Hi. Hi, Priscilla. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. So, do you want to play a little catch on these trampolines would, and with these bouncy balls? I would love to play some catch, Mika. Okay. Yeah, me too. Oh, let's do it. Everyone grab a ball. Get one over here. Oh, I know. What if we threw and caught the ball? So we can throw to each other and catch at the same time. I Make like sense? That. I like that idea. I like okay, that. let's count to three. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoa, we did it, nice. Can we do it again? Yes. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> awesome. One, two, three. Nice. Awesome. Ooh, I'm feeling nice and warm now. Me too. Ooh, what else can we play? We could play dodgeball. Ooh, dodgeball. How do you play dodgeball? Dodgeball is very simple. Hit or be hit. Ooh, hit or be hit. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Don't be nervous. It's real simple. All you got to do is duck, dodge, and throw the ball. Oh, I got you. That okay, so we're going to try and throw the ball to hit the other people, but you don't want to get hit. You want to dodge and get out of the way, right? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling ready. Are you? I think so. I hope you're ready. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Me. Oh, of course, Mika. Thank you for having us. Yeah, this is so fun. So much fun. <laughs> Woo! See you later. So, we learned that things bounce because of elasticity. Woo! And it's really important to get our bodies warmed up and stretched really good so we can be stretchy and bendy like elastic so we don't get hurt. And I really want to try an obstacle course. So can you help me stretch and move my body so I can get warmed up and ready to go? Yes, of course. Let's okay. get ready for this obstacle course. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so the first exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna put our arms like this. Okay. And you're gonna do a nice twist. Nice twist. All right, we're gonna switch arms again. Okay. Another big twist. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna reach for the floor. Whoa. Whoa. And we're gonna hold it for three seconds. All right, one, one two. two. Three. Perfect. <laughs> Another big stretch. Whoa. Ready? One. One, two, two three. three. Perfect. Do you have Ooh. any other stretches that we could do? Hmm. Yeah. How about we grab our foot? You have to have really good balance and stretch your leg Ooh. that way. All right. <laughs> like Ooh. flamingos. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Try your other foot. All right. The other one. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> it's a little wobbly on this Whoa. one. Okay, perfect. Ooh, my legs feel nice and warm. Ready? My arms are stretched out. I think I'm ready for the obstacle course. All right, perfect. I hope you have fun. Thank you so much. All right. See you soon. See ya.
again. See you at the bottom. Whoa! That was so much fun! Hey, I wonder if we could find more colors and shapes and things to count here. Will you help me? Oh, amazing! One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore! <laughs> Come on! Whoa! This looks like a really old western town. Oh, I know. I can pretend to be cowgirl Mika. Wait a second. Come here. There's another slide. That means there's one, two slides here. That's so fun. Well, since this is my town, I better make sure that the slide is working great. <laughs> Let's go up there. This is the perfect spot to check out my town. Yeah, everything looks really good. Oh, there's the bank. Hey, Barb, keep up the good work. 
Oh, and there's a little school over there. Hey, kids, cowgirl Mika. Yep, you're learning a lot. Well, good for you. <laughs> I better check out that slide. <clears throat> oh yeah, <laughs> three, two, one. It's time to have some fun. Whoa! <laughs> that was a blast! Wow, I can't believe I got to go down two slides today. <laughs> hey, there's a dragon over there. You know, some dragons fly and some dragons breathe fire. <sighs> Will you pretend to be a dragon with me? Okay, I think I'm gonna do both, fly and breathe fire. <sighs> oh, careful, it's hot. That's fire! <sighs> I'm a fire-breathing dragon, see? <sighs> Look at this really cool dragon. This is the happy dragon! See its big smile? And whoa! Look at its eyes! They're moving like... Wow, he has a really long tongue. What a cool looking dragon. Whoa, look over here. It has a big foot. Whoa, it's bright orange. <laughs> and look at its body. Do you know what color it is? Yep, it's yellow, one of my favorite colors. Oh, I see one, two legs. There's two more down here. Three, four. And two more way in the back. Five, six. Oh, six legs? <laughs> Look at these spikes. Will you count the spikes with me? Okay, let's start at the one way up top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, whoa, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, ooh, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 spikes. Wow, we just counted to a really big number. Good job. I think that calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance it out. <sighs> hey, this is kind of like a chair. <laughs> this is cool. It reminds me of musical chairs. Have you ever played that game before? When the music plays, you dance around, and then when it stops, you have to find a chair really, really fast. And if you can't find a chair, you're out. <laughs> Should we play? All right, let's do it. Oh, I hear that music. <gasps> the music stopped. <gasps> <sighs> that was a close one. <laughs> wow, there's so many chairs on this dragon. I think next time we play, we're gonna have to invite a lot of friends. <laughs> let's keep exploring. Whoa. This is the wonder go round. It's a ride. Should I get on it? Okay, come with me. We can pick out a character and I can go for a ride. I do like this walrus. What do you think? All right, I'm doing it. Let's go! Woohoo! Whoa! This looks like so much fun! This is the Jolly Trolley Ride! Yeah, it looks like a cool long train! <gasps> hey, look at this one! It's green! Green like a frog! Ribbit! Ribbit! And this one is the color yellow! That's right! Oh, I actually see a bumblebee up there! Bees are yellow too! Bzzz. Oh, and look at these cool windows. Will you count them with me? One, two, three. Oh, this one's two colors. Blue, like the sky, and purple, <laughs> like my shirt. <laughs> oh, 
It's blue! It's two kinds of blues, a light blue and a dark blue. Kind of like the sky and water. Oh, I think I wanna go on this one. Oh, and I have a good idea. I have binoculars in my jam pack so I can see really well. Hello, <laughs> let's go for a ride. <gasps> Here we go. Of really cool things. Actually, I think I saw some little tiny houses over there. Do you want to race me? All right, on your mark. Get set. Go! Wow, you're so fast. I know this story. This is the story of the three little pigs. Do you know that story? Yeah, there's three different houses in that story. This house is made out of sticks. Hello, I made this house all by myself out of sticks. <laughs> Here's the second house. This house is made out of straw. Yes, hello, do you like my straw house that I made? <laughs> Wait, there's three pigs and three houses, but we only saw two. I wonder where the other one is. Let's go look for it. Here it is, the third house, and it's made out of bricks, which means this house is really strong. Do you know what the softest house is? The one made out of straw for sure. <laughs> and I see some cool looking shapes on this house. I see a yellow rectangle. Oh, I see a triangle right there. One, two, three. And look at all of the bricks. They're all little rectangles. What a very nice looking home. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. In my jam pack, I have a nice healthy snack and I bet the pigs would really like these cucumbers. Hey, did you know that cucumbers are actually fruit? They're seeds inside, which makes them a fruit. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, there's one of the pigs over there. Hello, here's some nice healthy cucumbers for you. <laughs> It's Oswald the Bubble Elf. Hi, Oswald. It's me, Mika. It's so nice to meet ya. <laughs> Oswald loves making bubbles for us. And check it out. He's sitting on top of a giant mushroom. That must be so fun. Do you know what color this is? It's the color red. Let's go look at the stem. Whoa. It's a bright yellow, one of my favorite colors. What a cool mushroom. <laughs> Oswald, can we have some more bubbles, please? <laughs> Do you know what shape a bubble is? It's a sphere. So it's sort of like a circle, but it goes all the way around like a ball. See? Whoa. <laughs> and you know bubbles are just soap and water. <laughs> and they're really fun. Hey, maybe we can try and count some bubbles, but they're moving really fast. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> or we could pretend to take a bubble bath. <laughs> wow, whoa. <laughs> I could play with bubbles all day. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today, finding different shapes and colors. And we counted a lot too, remember? We counted the spikes on the dragon and counted the two slides. Woo! And oh, the piggy houses. Yeah. And remember, we left them a cucumber snack because they really like cucumbers. I really like cucumbers too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! Wait a second. I think I have bubbles in my jam pack. I do. I can blow some more bubbles. 
All right, thanks for learning and playing with me. See you soon. Whoa! Hey, it's me, Mika. And I'm so excited because today we get to meet someone very special, Sean Johnson. <laughs> John is an Olympic gold medal gymnast. Gymnastics is a cool sport where you get to do lots of fun things with your body. It takes a lot of practice, strength, flexibility. <laughs> and Sean is gonna show us some cool moves at the Nashville Gymnastics Training Center. I can't hardly wait. Woohoo! here we go. Woo! <gasps> oh, <laughs> hi. Hey, Sean, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. It's so great to meet you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Will you show us some gymnastics? I would love to, but first we need to stretch and warm up to stay safe. Oh, right, cause yes. first things first, safety first. Yes, so let's stretch your arms first, just kind All of right. across. Arms first. Yes. <laughs> How old were you when you started doing gymnastics? I actually started gymnastics when I was two years old. Whoa. I came into the gym and I just got to run around and I loved it. Oh, that sounds so yes. fun. Yes, it's kind <laughs> of like a playground, mm -hmm. but it's really soft and cushy, so you can do a lot of flips and stuff and stay safe. Oh, that's so yes. important. Let's stretch our legs next, right okay, here. Sean. So grab the back, it takes some balance though. Whoa, you're really good at balancing. Yes, oh. a lot of practice. Yes, how often did you practice? So when I started at the age of two, I only went for like one hour, one time a week. But as I got older and I got better at it, I kind of went more and more hours. Wow. Because um, it takes a lot of practice to go to the Olympics. It really does. Yes. And how many Olympic medals do you have? I have four Olympic medals. Oh. I have a gold on the balance beam and I have a silver on the floor and on the team, and on the all-around. Whoa! <laughs> yes. What are the differences between the metal colors? Yes, so the gold is number one. It's like the first place. And silver <laughs> is number two, second place. Nice. Yes. And then there's another one too, right? There's a bronze, which is third place. And did you ever lose? I did, a lot. I lost a lot of competitions, but I actually liked it better. Whenever I would make mistakes, it was so rewarding to come back into the gym and work on it and get better and like feel good inside. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's okay if you make mistakes. It's just an opportunity for growth. Yes. Okay, so let's sit down a little bit and stretch a little bit more before we get started. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh, it's okay to be nervous. I get nervous a lot. You do? Yes. What do you do when you get nervous? I practice so that I feel more confident. I trust myself and I say, I can do this. Mm. And I ask my coach if I'm ready. I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> now lean forward a little bit. Put your feet out in front of you. And touch your toes. Touch those toes. <laughs> I do think we're ready to get started. Oh, yay. Are you excited? I'm so excited. OK, let's go do it. Here we go. <laughs> Can you teach me something on the beam? I can, but first we're gonna start on the low beam and progressively work our way here. Great idea. Okay. Progressively <laughs> means we take it one step at a time. Yes. Until you feel comfortable and much better. So we're gonna start at this end of the beam. Okay. <laughs> and you're gonna step up here. Okay, here I go. So the key to gymnastics is keeping all of your muscles squeezed as tight as possible. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That helps us not fall off the beam. Right. If you do fall off the beam, it's okay. We'll right. just get back up and try again. Do you ever fall? I fall a lot. But with practice, you get more confident and better at your skills, so you fall less. Right. Okay, so arms will go straight out to the side. You can, I think you got this one. Oh, thanks. Sorry. You're gonna kind of look right down at the beam to make mm -hmm. sure you walk in a straight line. Okay. And we're just gonna walk forward. Okay. Walk one, two, two, three, three, four. Four. Okay, nice. now we're gonna walk backwards. Oh, that sounds tricky. So the thing with this is you're gonna feel for the beam and then plant your foot. Make sure you look down. Feel for the beam, feel for the plant, beam. 
And you're gonna go back till you feel the end of the beam. Okay. And when you feel the end, you're gonna stop. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> Keep feeling. Keep feeling. <gasps> there you are. Yay, I made so it to the stop. end. <laughs> so now we're gonna do flamingo walks. Okay. You're flamingo. gonna take a step. Hmm. Flamingo. Flamingo. Step. Flamingo. Ska, ska. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there flamingo. we go. Step, flamingo. <laughs> Step, flamingo. Now, in gymnastics, we yes. always like to be barefoot uh -huh. because being able to feel the beam with our bare feet helps us have more control. It probably safer. makes it less slippery, too. Yes. So, one more. Flamingo. Good job. <laughs> okay, next skill, we're going to try a scale. Uh huh. I don't know why they call it this, but it's just the name. You're going to take your dominant side, which is usually the same side of your body, you right with. My right hand side. Yes, and for some reason, I think one side of your body is just usually stronger. So we Ooh. favor that in gymnastics. Okay. So you take your dominant side, mm -hmm. lean forward, arms out, and scale down. Whoa! And scale back up. Scale down. <gasps> and scale back up. Good job! <laughs> that takes a lot of strength and a lot of balance. Mm-hmm. Okay, last one, are you ready? I'm ready. So with this one, we're actually gonna do a jump. <gasps> Whoa. Now, for all the kids watching, make sure you always have a coach with you and you don't do anything your coach doesn't say is safe for you. Okay. Okay? Is but it I safe, think you're Sean? ready. I think you're ready okay. for this. Coach says we're ready. <laughs> so when you jump, you wanna squeeze all your muscles super tight. You're gonna go down, jump, down. So okay. bend, straight, bend. And squeeze all those muscles together. Okay. Make sure you look at the beam too. There we go, ready? Here we go. Whoa! It's okay, we can try it again. Count to 10 and try again. <gasps> Will you count to 10 with us? Oh, great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And okay. try again. Okay, here we go. Remember, squeeze your muscles, mm -hmm. squeeze all everything together, and I think you got this one by yourself. Are you ready? Okay. Make sure you look at the beam. Ready, one, two, two three. three. Good job! Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think you're ready for the big beam. <gasps> okay, let's try the big beam. Let's go. So, with the big beam, I personally think the hardest part is just climbing up. So I'll help you climb up, and then I can hold your hand through the whole thing. Okay, it's really tall. I know. But it might feel tall, but nothing's changed. It's the same beam as down there, mm -hmm. and you are so confident and strong, I know you can do it up here. Thanks, Dad. Let's do it. <laughs> this is tricky. Whoa! Does it feel a little higher? Yeah, I feel a little nervous. It's okay, remember, tell yourself, I can do this, take a deep breath, and know that your coach, myself, <laughs> believes you can do it too. I can do this. <sighs> deep breaths. And make sure if you're at home, you don't try any of this without a coach or without a gym, because safety is definitely first. Mm -hmm. Most Good important. Job. Okay, you've kind of mastered the forward walking. Let's try the backward. Okay. <laughs> okay, look at the beam, squeeze all your muscles, Feel feel your behind you and plant your foot. <laughs> Good job. Good job, let's take two more steps. Okay. One. One. <gasps> two. Okay, are you ready for your flamingos? Yes. Okay, let's try four this time. Four flamingos. Yes. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four flamingos. Good job. Splash, splash, hey. splash. Are you ready for your jump? I'm ready. Okay, so Whoa. here, I'm actually gonna get on the beam with you and okay. help you with your jump. So, what we're gonna do, I'll show you, you feel my hands. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a small jump, keep every muscle really tight, just like that. I'm gonna hold your hands, you use me for balance. You're gonna squeeze everything together, go down, jump, down, and you're good. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, make sure you look at the beam. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Whoa! Good job! 
<laughs> that was really good. That okay. was fun. You wanna try one more? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> good job! Whoa. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I think you've shot. mastered the beam. Do you wanna go to the floor? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that beam was so fun! I was so proud of you. You did such a good job. Oh, thank you, Sean. <laughs> and the medal goes to... <gasps> Mika! <laughs> so, now that we're on the floor, I thought I could teach you another new skill. Oh, great! But first, can you do a cartwheel? Oh, yes. I love doing cartwheels. Do you mind showing me your cartwheel? I'd be happy to. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> That's a really good cartwheel. Oh, thank Since you, you already know how to do a cartwheel, mm -hmm. how about we take the next step and we learn a round off? Sounds great, a okay. round off. A round off is like a cartwheel, but instead of landing one foot at a time, you put your feet together. Whoa. Yeah, it's a foundational skill in gymnastics that you learn before you learn all the big flips, like flips and tricks. Oh, yes, yes. that sounds great. Okay, so I'll show you first. Uh huh. The cartwheel, just like you did, is pretty simple like this. Mm -hmm. One foot after another. So what you're going to do is, when you're upside down, your uh -huh. feet will come together and land together. Kind of like this. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and this might sound silly, but the floor, you want to push it away as hard as you can. Okay. That's what kind of gives you that speed to kind of jump off the floor. All right. Okay, are you ready to try one? Sure. Let's give, give it, it a, a shot. It's okay if we make mistakes. We'll work on it. That's true. That's what I learned on the beam. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So we also want to try to keep our legs as straight as we can. Okay. And a little trick for that is if you point your toes as hard as you can, your legs will naturally straighten. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's try one more time. Sure. That was a lot better. Oh, Yay! Good. I'm so proud of you again. That's another <laughs> new skill. Thank you so much, Sean. <laughs> of course. That was awesome. Good job. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you. Do you think I could do that someday? I think with a lot of practice and hard work, you definitely could. Oh, thank you for showing me all those skills. You did such a good job on the beam, on the floor. I was really proud of you. Oh, yeah. We had such a busy day today. We learned how to do <gasps> balancing walks on the beam and skills. <laughs> and we learned how to do a round off at the end of our cartwheels. Yeah. Oh, we also learned that there's a side of your body that's usually stronger than the other side. Yeah. And that's the side we usually use in gymnastics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Can you spell my name with me? S-H-A-W-N, Sean! <laughs> Bye, friends! Oh, I'd like to keep practicing, please. Me too. <laughs>
<laughs> That's right. It's a bunny rabbit. Let's pretend to be bunny rabbits. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Whoa. It looks like maybe they had a little bit too much carrot cake. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Oh, it looks lovely. Do you see the shapes on this cake? Do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, they're hearts, just like this one. <laughs> All right, I'm supposed to be decorating cakes too. Oh, I see someone over there. Maybe they can help me decorate a cake like this one. Come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Moretis, how can I assist you? Moretis, I would love to decorate a cake. Oh, you came to the perfect place. <laughs> That's what we do. So any idea you may have, we can turn it into a cake. Hmm, I'm not sure how I want to decorate my cake yet. Mm, well, we have plenty of inspiration. So Ooh. take some time to look around and I'll meet you in the back so we can get started. Great. All right. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Whoa, look at all these cakes. Hmm. They're all different sizes and they're decorated differently too. Time to get some inspiration. Inspiration is when you're getting ideas that make you want to create. <laughs> Let's check out these cakes. <gasps> Whoa! Look! A unicorn cake with a beautiful rainbow on it. <laughs> so colorful. And check it out. Wow! This is called fondant and you can use it to create all kinds of different shapes on cakes like clouds and flowers and different shapes. <laughs> Uh-oh, it looks like rain. Oh, showers. <laughs> Let me get my umbrella. <laughs> so cute. Did you know that you can't have a rainbow without rain? Uh-huh, that's right. And look over here. These cakes, they all have different toppers. This is called a topper because it's at the top of the cake. Oh, and there's a rabbit topper and a topper with a word. Do you know what this says? <laughs> it says love. Let's spell it. L-O-V-E, -E, love. <laughs> oh, and check it out. The bunny rabbit has a little heart nose. <laughs> oh, I got an idea. Let's turn on this radio and have a 10 second dance party. Ready? Bloop, 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 bloop. I love cake, cake is great. I love cake, cause it makes me wanna wiggle and shake. <laughs> okay, I feel all inspired and I'm ready to decorate. Let's go. <laughs> Hello again. Oh, hi Mika. Did you get any inspiration? Yes, I have a lot of great ideas. Awesome, so here we're gonna get some embellishments that you can add to your cake. And after that, you're gonna meet me at the cake decorating station, okay? Great. <laughs> but first, let's grab your apron. Whoa. Baker and Mika. Thank you. <laughs> cool, I have an apron. I'm Baker Mika, ready to decorate. <laughs> first, let me tie my apron up. Check out all these embellishments. Embellishments are little details you can add to a cake. Whoa, and look, there are so many different types of colors and shapes. Hmm, I'd like to put this on my cake. <laughs> Do you know what these are? <laughs> yeah, bananas. Mmm, they're yellow, just like one of my favorite colors. Okay, oh, speaking of favorite colors, Oh, yeah, my other favorite color. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I should get out some embellishments of Blippi's favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I need blue and orange. Oh, check it out. Blue and orange. What do we have here? <gasps> some pumpkins. Oh, and lots of blue sprinkles. Do you hear that? That's such a cool sound. It's like a maraca. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I like to decorate cakes. <laughs> so cool. Okay, let's grab some more. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Kind of look like 
mermaid tails. Cool. I'd like some of those, please. And check it out. These are metallic. <laughs> some of those. And, hmm. Oh, look. This kind of looks like snow. <laughs> That's pretty neat, too. I just washed my hands, I have my embellishments, and I'm ready to start. Awesome, so now we're gonna work in some fondant. Okay. Okay, so we can create some decorations for the cake. Great. You're gonna take the amount of fondant you wanna use, roll it so you can smooth it out. Okay. And then you're gonna roll. Roll it? Yes. It's kinda like a ball. Hey, I could even juggle with these. <laughs> There you go, your rolling Ooh, pin. My rolling pin. Now I'm gonna roll it out. So it's nice and smooth and flat. Yeah, one smooth Ooh. motion. <laughs> Thank you. It's kind of like clay. Okay. All right, you're ready. So now you're gonna choose your cutter. Huh, I'd like to choose this flower. You're going to press it and wiggle. Press and wiggle. Now can I pull away this extra yes. fondant? Okay, let's pull this part away. Check it out. A beautiful flower. <gasps> Ooh, maybe it's a daisy. Maybe it's a sunflower or a rose. Great, we'll put it right there. Can I make one out of blue fondant now? Of course. So now, roll it. Roll it up just like a ball. Move it out. What's this? Cornstarch. This helps you for it to, for the fondant to not stick to the surface. Oh, okay. Good to know. Now you're ready to roll. Ready to roll. <laughs> Ooh, I like this color blue. How's that? All right, I think that's good. Okay, so now what shape are you gonna use? Hmm, let's do a car. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now remember, press and wiggle, wiggle. Press and wiggle. Great! Oh, that looks awesome! Oh, I just remembered. I have some cutters in my jam pack. Oh, awesome. Let's do those. I have a bow tie for my best friend, Blippi. <laughs> and, oh, a T-Rex. Roar. Can you roar with me like a T-Rex? Roar. You too. Roar. <laughs> okay, I want to do the T-Rex next. All right. There you go. <laughs> a blue T-Rex. That is funny. Ooh, hello T-Rex. You can see his bones and everything. All right, Roar. That looks great. Could be a bow tie or a hair bow. Okay, I'd like to finish with this truck. Honk, honk. Edges out, edges out. <laughs> there you go. And here we can use that. Oh yeah. Things to see it didn't cut through completely. You can cut it out. Perfect. There. there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's wheel you over, truck. Honk, honk, honk. All right, so now that we're done with fondant, we're gonna be working with frosting. This is our American buttercream, and we have our food coloring. These are primary colors. Yellow red, and blue. When you mix certain primary colors, you make secondary colors, like purple and orange. <gasps> oh, I've got it. I'd like to make purple and orange. All right, so let's do it. Okay, let's scoop in our frosting. All right, so in order to make orange, I'd like to mix yellow and red. Perfect. Now to make purple, 
I will mix <gasps> red and blue. There we go. Okay, time to stir. Wow, it's turning orange. It's turning purple. <laughs> Great. That looks delicious. All right, so here's your cake. Now you have everything you need so that you can make your creation. If you need anything else, just let me know. I'll be in the back. Thank you. All right, you're very welcome. Bye, Marini. Bye, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, let's start to decorate. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, gonna put on my truck. Let's put on our car next. Oh, and look at this. It's a turntable. Oh, spin, spin, spin. Oh, I want to put my flower on top. Hmm, where should my T-Rex go? Rawr. Oh, here's a great spot for it. Hmm, I'll save my bow tie for later. Now I'm ready to do some frosting. Oh, look at that, it's so pretty. Wow, three little ringlets. Let's do a little fourth one. Wow, okay, let's put on some embellishments. Bananas. Open this up. Whoa, check it out. Sprinkle these on top. Wow. Okay, let me put on the bow. <laughs> check it out. We did it. We did it. We never ever quit it. We did it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, awesome. We decorated a cake. Ah, whoa! Decorating cakes is fun and creative too. First, we got inspiration. Then, we cut shapes into the fondant. And then we frosted our friendship cake. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E. K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friend, I'll see ya later. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Children's Creativity Museum in San Francisco, California. Do you know what creativity is? It's when you use your imagination to make anything. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mission control. I'm ready to explore. Whoa, smooth landing. <laughs> Did you see I was a rocket ship? <laughs> hey, look at these cool blocks. They're so colorful. Oh, and they feel soft. <laughs> Do you know what shape this is? This is a rectangle. See, there's two short sides and two long sides. Yeah, do you know what color it is? Green, that's right. And look at all the little circles. Ah, these are really cool. Ooh, one of my favorite colors. Yellow. Hey, what if we built a rocket ship out of these blocks? All right, let's do it. Maybe this one and this one. Mm-hmm. And we need some wings. Which block would make a good wing? <gasps> this one. And maybe this one. Hmm. Maybe some yellow on the top. Yellow, it's nice and bright. This way, space knows we're coming. <laughs> and then maybe this. Whoa. Yes, it's time to launch this rocket ship into space. Count down with me from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <gasps> We've landed in space. There's no 
no gravity. This is why I'm walking like this. I'm floating because I'm astronaut Mika. Whoa. One small step for inspiration. One giant leap for creativity. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all these moon rocks. We have to hop over them. Will you hop with me? Okay. Nice hopping. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. There's more to create. Let's go. Creativity installed. Oh, it says launch it. You must be able to launch things here. Huh. <gasps> this is a vertical wind tunnel. Yeah, this wind down here forces things to go up through the tunnel. <gasps> this is a great way to test gravity. Do you know what gravity is? It's the force that pulls everything on Earth to the ground. It's also what keeps the planets orbiting the sun. Without gravity, they would just be floating around in space like, like this. Whoa. Which ones will float up through the tunnel? It's time for sink or fly! Let's see. Hmm. Oh, look! There's some leaves and flowers. They look really light. Do you think that they'll float up through the tunnel? Only one way to find out. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Three. Two, one. It went all the way up out of the tunnel and here it comes. Ooh, ooh. I caught it. I'm gonna see if it'll go up again. Okay. Ready? Goodbye, little leaf. Whoa, that's so cool. What else is in here? Oh. Look at the squishy ball. <laughs> I wonder if this will float up the tunnel. What do you think? It's a little heavier than the leaf. All right, let's try. Three, two, one. Nope. <laughs> I think it's too heavy. Oh, look, there's some cotton balls here. See, they're green and soft. They also feel pretty light. Should we try? Maybe we can drag both of them at the same time. <laughs> Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. It didn't fly up, but did you see it twirling around? Let's try again. Whoa, nope. <laughs> All right. <gasps> hey, this kind of looks like my bow. Twins. <laughs> this is pretty light too. Do you think it's gonna go up the tunnel? Let's try. Oh, just went up a little bit. Let's try it again. Whoa, that was so cool. What about this? Ooh, this is so pretty. This piece of fabric, yeah. It looks light and floaty. Let's see what happens. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let go, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Can I catch it? Got it, that was a fun one. I wanna do it again. <gasps> Three, two, one. Blast off! Wow, so it seems like the items that are really light go straight up out of the tunnel. And then the items that are kind of heavy stay towards the bottom or they don't float at all. What about this streamer? You might see this at a birthday party as a decoration, but have you seen a streamer in a vertical wind tunnel? Whew. Ooh, ready, set, go! Whoa, can I catch it? Can I catch it? Got it. <laughs> Gravity is so awesome. Should 
Should we pretend to walk like there's no gravity? Okay, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's no gravity. <laughs> huh, I wonder what's going on with this wall. I see some tubes and pipes and this looks like a track and oh look there's a magnet on the side and it sticks to the wall because it's magnetic cool i have a great idea let's make a comet run do you know what a comet is it's made of frozen space dust and rock and ice and the closer it is to the sun, the faster it travels because of gravity. So, we could say that this ball is the sun. Ooh, so hot, it's hot. Okay, sun, you stay there. And now, I need to make a comet run. So I'm gonna move some of these pieces so that the ball can travel towards the sun. So let's see, maybe get this down like this. What do you think? All right, now, which ball should be the comet? <gasps> what about this one? One of my favorite colors, purple. Okay, do you wanna be the comet? Great. Okay, you got this. You have to travel so fast towards the sun. You ready? All right, three, two, one. Go! Whoa! That was amazing! Did you see how fast it traveled? Let's try another one. Maybe this yellow one. One of my other favorite colors. <laughs> okay. Focus on the sun and travel as fast as you can. You got this. Three, two, one, go! Whoa! Oh, that one fell off. Maybe we should try the purple one again. All right. There's the sun. Travel so, so fast. Three, two, one, go! Yeah! That was amazing! This calls for a 10 second dance party. Dance it out with me. Go explore some more. Whoa! They even have a space up on the rooftop outside where you can be creative. Look at all of this art. <laughs> Whoa, these are doors. Hello? <laughs> they painted them. Oh, look, a little green squiggly line and someone painted a heart. Oh, cool. Whoa! This structure kind of reminds me of a rocket ship. Three, two, one, blast off! Hey, they have a smock. That means that I could paint something. Yeah, it's good to wear a smock, then you can protect your clothes from the paint. <laughs> I'm feeling so inspired. What should I paint? Maybe something in space? I will paint. Maybe you can guess. Do you know what planet we live on? Yeah, Earth. So I'm going to use, you know this color? Blue, yeah, blue, like the sky, the ocean. Whoa, I'll make a big circle for our planet Earth. Round and around and around. So there's so much water on Earth and there's a lot of land. So maybe I'll use green too. <gasps> yes, here's green right here. See green like trees or like a delicious avocado. <laughs> we'll put some green on here too. Oh, okay, there's Earth. And then I think I'm gonna paint some white 
stars, too. Hey, did you know that there's over 100 billion stars in our galaxy? And that our galaxy is called the Milky Way. <laughs> we'll just do some stars like this all over. What do you think? I like it a lot. <laughs> wow, well, I'll let that dry for now. <laughs> I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. We got so inspired and we used our creativity and our imagination. <gasps> Remember when we learned about comets and how they're made of frozen space dust? <laughs> I think that's so neat. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. <gasps> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I want to learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi Mika, I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I wanna learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <gasps> this is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. <gasps> wow, a dance teacher? Uh, could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay, follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh yeah, you count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves and you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh, I'm already awesome. warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're gonna do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too, okay? Okay. So we gotta go into our straddle. We're gonna sit on the ground, we're going to go into our straddle, we're gonna okay. spread our legs out. All right, you can sit on the ground too. All right, and we're going to roll our dough out. So we're roll our dough, shh, shh. And we're going to pat, 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 all around. Pat, 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 dough. pat, pat, pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're gonna spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. Ooh. I'm gonna put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm gonna put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm gonna put some pineapples on ooh. there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our other mittens on. Yep, okay. mm -hmm. protect yourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza, we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. Shh, shh. We're going to put the pizza in there. Shh, shh. We're going to close the door. Shh, shh. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Take out the pizza. All right, ready? And three, two, one. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I survived. Awesome, awesome. All right, and we're going to put our feet together. Our next, our final warm-up, we're going to put our feet together. All right, and we're going to say, hi, toes. Hi, toes. Goodbye, toes. Goodbye, toes. 
Hi Toes. Hi Toes. Goodbye Toes. Goodbye Toes. Hi Toes. Hi Toes. I quickly grab them before they go away. Wait. And count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay, come on, let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa! We are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are gonna teach me hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements, and also it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance, it's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, well, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay, so our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight, okay? Oh, you yeah, ready? count to eight, I remember. All right, so first, we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And you step out with your left, one. Step together, two. Ah, and then repeat step, that. Yep. Touch. I did. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> step touch. Okay. So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. But we're gonna add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And oh. our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand all over and then your left hand under, okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, then your okay. heels gonna point up to the sky, and then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, Yeah. Hug. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right, we're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under, and then we're gonna kick out with our left foot, and our toes point up at the sky again, and we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, oh, big hug! There you go. Good job. Nice. You think we can do a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Yes, oh, good job. So Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move to make a little more flavor and Ooh, put a boost on it, yes. we're gonna do a crisscross. Criss you ready? Crisscross, what's that? Okay, so it's pretty, pretty simple, okay? So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor, okay? okay. You're like you're chopping paper, okay? You go, so you're gonna go cross with your right over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow, okay? okay. We're gonna go right foot, shoo, shoo. and we're gonna cross. Shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors, like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right, ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Shoo. And switch. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yes, good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh yeah, I really love ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay, you see your toes, our heels are kissing each other and going, okay. Mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Ooh, mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count, we're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go one, two, two three, four, four five, five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good, 
Good job. Okay. okay. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice flavor to Love our it. ballet, uh -huh. we're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring it. One more time. Out. Bring in. Out. Out. Bring in. In. Out. Out. In. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So our hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot. Out. And then bring it. And go out. Out. And bring it. In. And go out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job. Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's gonna be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right, you ready? Yep. All right, we're gonna start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely. That's the point of dance. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. You lead the way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. Well, you know. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learn new Hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> Come on everyone, let's make learning fun! Mika, Mika So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout!